just so you know, you can also order supplies at FedEx.com. This is at 10.22 a.m. The driver dropped off the package right. here. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I understand, but what I'm telling you is I didn't get the package. Oh, all right, Joseph, so in this case, let's go ahead and make a report on it. The fact is that it's a live animal, so there is no, you know, reporting anything. I need to find it. It's not, I'm just going to lose an item. It's something that I can't replace. Uh, you will re uh, have a phone call from our choice department within the next two hours. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother... kind of a dreary day today, but who cares, because I've got a package coming. New snake in the mail, so first order of business is set up the tubs, and then second is edit the podcast, and let's get the day started. super easy to make. All it is is these egg cartons. This is a five dozen pack from Kroger. This usually has, I believe, like three more layers on it. We usually eat like one of these a week. I like doing all this stuff the morning of because despite being a grown adult, it's pretty exciting when you have a package coming in. Now it's time to see if I can get some editing done to pass some of this time. So, that didn't really go as planned. Apparently Windows decided to update, so... Now I have to restart the computer. package it was what is it like 30 minutes late because it said it was delivered at 10 22 and I just got it he didn't knock on the door anything like that I checked at about 10 35 then I just check now at about 10 46 and it was there and he didn't knock didn't do anything so what the driver did was it was guaranteed by 10 30 because that's what priority overnight is. But he decided that he wasn't going to make it. So what he did was Mark delivered and left at door before he actually did it. So he would make his time. But as he doesn't know, I'm waiting for this package because there's a live animal. And he's a piece of dog shit. A piece of shit driver.
let me just go over. So usually you would have live harmless reptile on the outside. It did have it on the inside on paper, but you should write it on the outside. Just the fact that it says perishable, you know, it could be anything fragile, perishable. So, I mean, in my opinion, not, not the best way to ship, but they got here fine. But also, I feel like if you are shipping, you know, over $1,000 worth of animals, I think you should make it signature required so that that never happens, so that you make sure it gets to the right spot at the right time. I should probably tell you what I got. It is uh, two het palmetto corn snakes. So they may not look like anything special, but breathe them together and they'll make palmettos. So it's the start of a uh, new project that I'm really excited about to make palmettos. Now let's get these guys into their new home. so difficult when you first get new snakes and all you want to do is mess with them, hold them, and look at them and open up their tubs and everything, but you gotta leave them alone for as long as you can. I took a uh, couple pictures of them in the tubs, other than that, not gonna mess with them, but uh, I just want to kind of explain how the palmetto thing works. So it is um, at least originally thought to be recessive, but there are a lot of markers to see uh, your head animals. The head animals are uh, a more hypo look to them. Uh, if you saw those animals, they're, they're pretty red and some like diffused patterning and color on the sides. So uh, that, particular, that particular pair was the result of a wild caught, legally collected wild caught to a visual palmetto. So you know 100% of them are gonna be het. And uh, the wild corn looked a little bit more uh, red, like blood red. So, uh, made for a pretty cool pairing. And I look forward to growing those guys up and breeding some palmettos. Few things to do I got the podcast stuff I'm gonna upload this footage make this video and really that's pretty much it I'm gonna keep on trying to put out videos um, if not every day probably every weekday or uh, you know some days I just get too busy you know I work uh, six days a week pretty much seven days a week if you count all the stuff I do on Tuesdays my day off I do the podcast so Thank you guys for watching and like, share, subscribe, do whatever the hell you want. Later.